We have something that we want to share with you for just a few minutes this morning. I've been talking about identity and our identity in Christ, but what we want to talk about for just a few minutes is our identity as a church and how we present it to our community. When I first came to Washington Heights now 25 years ago, it might surprise some people to hear it, but the very first challenge I faced in my very first hour as pastor here at church was something that I really didn't expect. But it's when our then church secretary, um, Marion Hout, came into my office in a real fluster and she said, Pastor, Pastor, we need to solve the problem with the bulletin. I'm like, really? This is what I'm here for, the bulletin. And she goes, yes, and the letterhead, and the letterhead, I see. She says, Pastor, we're almost out. We don't have enough bulletins for only just another Sunday or so, and we're almost out of letterhead, but we didn't want to change anything until the new pastor arrived because we didn't know what, what you might want. And in fact, I'll be honest, the, um, the structure at that time that we had in the bulletin and the letterhead was a line drawing of the church that went back about 40 years before me. And it was a little dated and a little long in the tooth, and I was thinking, yeah, we could use a refresh. So, but because of the pressure, it's like, what can we do? So we called a local graphic design company here in Dayton. I ran over there that very first afternoon. I said, what can you do for us? And in 24 hours, they threw together the little pink and blue mountain thing that we have had as our visual identity for the last 25 years. Um, that's how it happened, folks. Boom! Boom! And we got bulletins in two weeks. Now we thought maybe after 25 years we could use a more purposeful refresh of our identity. Who we are, logo, and images going out. And we have some very talented people here at our church to work with. So Andrew Althaus, would you come up here? Uh, Andrew is a graphic designer at Real Art. He's a, a senior designer there and also part of our church family. And so we started talking some time ago, actually, on what we might do to come up with a new visual identity for Washington Heights. And I'm going to let Andrew come and share with you where we are in that process. Thanks. So yeah, this has been a, a long time coming. That's our church. All right. So the... Uh, the goal of this project is, you know, no matter what maybe your personal taste is, that this is done with uh, excellence and purpose. Um, I'll give you a little bit of background about myself. Um, my wife, Jen, and I have attended uh, Washington Heights for just a little over 13 years. Um, and just a little longer than that, I've been a designer at, at Real Art. And uh, Real Art's been in the Dayton area for over 35 years, and we have, you know, large and small clients like uh, Lowe's, Chipotle, and Dell. Um, and we do a lot of uh, local brand work as well. Um, and we do design, video, experiential, fabrication. We, we kind of do a little of everything. Um, so if, if you know a little bit about me, I love, I love this church. Um, and I also love design. So um, I drew this like nerdy little Venn diagram thing. And, and where they intersect, that's, that's me. Um, so I'm really excited to be able to help with this. So sometimes in projects like this, it's nice to define what this project is not uh, in order to tell you what it is. Um, so this is a refresh. It is not uh, what they would call a rebrand. Uh, refresh usually deals with uh, visuals only, um, whereas a rebrand can sometimes uh, be more strategic. That's not what we're doing. Um, Washington Heights is still exactly the same. It's just a new coat of paint. Um, and I, I don't actually really even like to refer to a church as a brand at all because, you know, companies and organizations, they're, they're really different than what a church is, the purpose of a church. A church is meant to reflect Christ, and so, you know, I just, I just call it a visual identity. That being said, if you, if you tell your friends rebrand, you know, I won't hold you to it. Um, so what this is instead is, is actually we're trying to, as best we can, uh, bottle everything <laughs> that Washington Heights is into a visual identity, which, which is a tough task. Um, but it's supposed to reflect uh, who we are as a body of believers, um, specifically at Washington Heights, because we're not the church down the street. Um, we're Washington Heights, so trying to have a, a uniqueness in that. Um, 
Have you ever, have you ever heard the phrase, uh, don't judge a book by its cover? Yeah, well, don't tell a graphic designer that. Um, because a cover always communicates something to you. Um, and so we feel like uh, the contents of the Washington Heights book is, is worth telling, and so we want the visuals on the outside to, to accurately re reflect that. Um, and also, uh, it's also really an impossible task to accurately reflect an entire church in, in one item, like a business card or a website. But over time and multiple touch points, that's, that's what we hope to do. So today is really the foundation of that. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about our process. Um, we had, we had mem multiple considerations when we're doing this. One is that um, every member here is a stakeholder. Um, and when you care and feel ownership over something, you want to treat this thing with care. Um, we're also trying to avi uh, avoid what's called uh, the least offensive alternative. Um, which is to say that trying to create something that makes everyone happy, what ends up happening is you create something that not every, anybody really loves. Um, so instead, we want to create something that's smart and memorable, um, something that even if it's not your favorite, it is done well. So another consideration. <laughs> Christian symbolism, um, if you've ever played Minesweeper, Christian symbolism is a, is a little bit like playing Minesweeper, but on, on expert. Um, there's just a lot of stuff that's already going on um, from, I mean, there's, there's crosses and flames and doves and Bibles and initials and light and, I mean, all these types of symbols. Um, and there's, there's really, there's nothing new under the sun, right? Um, and, and each symbol can kind of carry some baggage, like as a, for instance, if you wanted to put a flame in your logo, people might say, oh, they might be Pentecostal. Um, so it's, the key is, is not to avoid symbols entirely, but to uh, reimagine them and combine them in a way that's unique to our church. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've never done this many sketches for any project in, in my entire life. Um, and, and I think... I think the reason uh, that uh, I did that is partially because I, I really care about this church, and I, I wanted to do my best work for this church. Also, if you see a logo up here that you like, too bad, because um, it's, there's, it's not any of the finals. Um, so, so fortunately, I, I think that um, I'm, I'm really proud of this work, and I'm excited what we've come up with. And um, so here is our new logo. Ta-da! Oh, oh, applause. That's good. That's good. <laughs> you guys are more awake than the first service. Um, anyway, uh, so I, I took a lot of time to kind of set this up, um, and, and I'm going to explain why this one was chosen out of kind of all the ideas that we had and the paths that we walked down. So first of all, um, we like that it's ownable. There's this uh, W letter form, um, which is kind of a unique W, and then we've got this, you know, negative space arrow that's below here, and that really is meant to cleverly recreate Washington Heights, but in a symbol. Um, we're trying to be timeless with this by using uh, thick lines and simple forms. Um, I would. I would say to keep in mind that a, a timeless logo is not one that lasts forever, but rather one that still holds up today. Um, as an example of that, I'd point to the, the top left. Uh, if you guys recognize the old Northwest Airlines logo, um, it has this nice N, and then there's actually a W inside there too with this, this point at the corner that also points to Northwest um, in this like compass form. I mean, it's like, it's crazy. It's, it's got a lot of levels of meaning. Um, you can also see that there's, like, there's hidden things in some of these. So like the Hartford Whalers logo has that H inside the W. And then the, the, probably the most famous one of all is the, the FedEx um, mark that has the, the arrow in between the E and the X. Uh, we chose this W letter form intentionally because um, I just pictured this idea of being inside the Word of God and how that's a, a rich heritage at Washington Heights. Um, so that's, that's how the W is reflected in there. Um, 
We're also trying not to, uh, to waste any of the symbolism. So we've got a shield and this, this arrow uh, angle thing that's going on. Um, the shield is kind of interesting. Uh, uh, the coat of arms is really like the precursor to modern day uh, logos. And uh, even to this day, all, all the logos inside there are from Major League Soccer. If you, if you go on like Major League Soccer's website and you look at all these logos, two thirds of them have shields in them. So it's, it's really still a powerful symbol today. So we're leveraging that shield of faith aspect. Um, and then also you can see that, that the angle on this arrow, it, it really just kind of reflects that sanctuary uh, recognizable symbol that we have along uh, Far Hills. Also for colors, we didn't just pull them out of thin air. We're already using what's, uh, what exists today. So uh, we've got blue that's going on uh, in Washington Heights and we're, and we're using that. Um, there's also some white and some tan. Uh, and so we're not trying to reinvent the wheel, we're trying to use what's already here and kind of integrate that into, into what we've got going on. Um, the last part I'll say is that uh, this, is, this is pretty cost effective for, for a, a visual identity. Um, we have uh, donated design services. Um, we've got uh, the staff that's been helping uh, quite a bit. Um, we have, we're going to use in-house materials as much as possible. Um, we've been using existing or uh, free photography and also Google fonts. So there's a lot of things that we're doing to save costs. You, you really can't get something for, for nothing. So um, you know, there's, there's uh, some material costs and like uh, uh, update of the website. Um, but overall, I'm just really appreciative that I can play a small part in, in the, the history that Washington Heights has as being good stewards. So we did more than just a logo. Um, and I'm going to walk you through uh, some of that um, right now. Um, we've, we've worked some uh, messaging specifically on the right where it says, uh, we are devoted to Christ's mission in hearts across the street and around the world. That really sums up who we are as a, as a church. Um, we've got some uh, digital updates as well. The website, um, if you went on your phone right now, don't do it, but if you went on your, web, if you went on your phone right now, um, it would be uh, an updated website. Um, the Facebook page is also updated and we'll have some other updates coming along. Um, this slide you could probably call swag, um, <laughs> but like uh, shirts and, and stickers and, and canvas bags, and, and we'll circle back to this in a minute. Um, we've, we've updated the, the Go logo that we have, um, and it has like these three rings around it, and, which reflects um, our intentionality behind our missions strategy, so Jerusalem, Judea and Samaria, and then the ends of the earth. Um, also, you've probably seen uh, at baptisms, uh, we've got uh, the, the, the people who are baptized are wearing the follow shirts. Um, and this is kind of an addition to this. Um, so on the back, uh, you might be able to see that it's a place for people to, to write their name in, in permanent marker and, and the date that they were baptized. Uh, it serves as a reminder not only to them, uh, but also out in the community, you can wear it and start conversations with people. Um, and there'll be places where you'll start to see all these things come together, the, you know, the type, the imagery, the fonts, the colors, icons, there's all this stuff where it comes together, like in our announcement slides, um, bulletins, things of that nature. Um, and we've got an expanded color palette, which, which fits into, you know, some of our Jam City colors and, and things like that. Uh, and you saw on the way in, um, or maybe you didn't, uh, but uh, we, the, the sign was like half covered up with a, with like, what's going on? That looks like the same sign, but it isn't. Anyways, um, when you leave, it's going to be a new sign. So we've got stuff like this that's happening. Uh, and there's a lot more to come. Um, like I mentioned earlier, we're laying the foundation today, uh, but there's, there's many new pieces that hopefully will make a big impact over time. Um, oh yeah, and one more thing. So for those of you who are Apple fans, you'll understand this, and if you're not, I'm not gonna explain it. Um, <laughs> but anyways, so, so let's circle back. Um, the refresh is, is not just for like us when we're inside these four walls, but it's also for our community um, to be recognized as the, the body at Washington Heights. So to that end, we have a, a few tools uh, for you guys. One is, and we're gonna pass out uh, here some bookmarks. 
Um, and you can get a free, I said one per family, that's not true, it's one per person, so better. Um, and the bookmarks uh, are, are meant for a few things. I mean, they're meant as a bookmark. Um, but they're also meant as a reminder of, of what we're talking about today. And I would also, um, when you use it, just you know, continue to pray for our church and the people of our church uh, during this rollout that um, this would be an effective tool to reach our community. We also have some free stuff. Um, so on, on the left, you can see like a sticker that's on a car. Um, so every family can have one sticker plus one of the three items that's also pictured there. So the bottle, a bag, or a shirt. So um, you can pick those up back at, uh, in, the, in the gymnasium after service. Um, and I would also tell you that uh, you, can, you can buy these too. Um, and they're, they're, really, they're really cost effective. I've been doing this for a long time and these, these, are, these are really good prices. So um, this is at our cost to you. Um, and you can go ahead and reserve them. We want to make sure that everybody uh, can get their, their free items first, so we would just ask for you to kind of like sign up and, and we'll do those, we'll do the purchased items at a different date, uh, but they are available for purchase as well. Um, lastly, I know that this presentation is a bit like drinking water from a fire hose. It's, it's a lot of stuff coming right at you. Um, but you'll slowly see things come over time. And I just wanted to say, too, that um, this, is, this is probably the uh, fifth or sixth time that I've given this presentation. Um, and I can tell you that the people of Washington Heights, they really care about this church. Um, and, I, and I'm confident that uh, you know, years from now when we look back on this, we'll still be able to see uh, that same care with, with this identity today. So thank you very much. Thank you so much, Andrew. I can tell you that when he talks about being cost effective, there is no way we could have paid Real Art or Andrew for the design services that went into this. And we just hope that you all will uh, come, become comfortable with and come to enjoy our new identity as you see it and, and perhaps even take some of these stickers. And you get a free one today and we'll see how things go in the future, but back window of your car or stick it on your own mug at work or corner of a desk or something like that. You know, just start to get used to this as the identity, uh, the way that we come to recognize who we are as the people of God here at Washington Heights. As you leave, um, there are ushers at the door that have the bookmarks for you. Um, if you, I'm not sure how many we have. We got a little lost in the count, so we said one per family originally. We think there's enough maybe for a few more than that, but um, if you want one, go ahead and take one, and we'll get some more printed, but the bookmark is kind of just the initial way of getting to know, you, know uh, our identity. If you go back to the gym, you can go in there and pick up your sticker, and also... Um, you can either get the thing that you would like, the uh, water bottle or the uh, bag or the T-shirt, or if we don't have enough size and all, we didn't try to stock. We, we weren't going to try to spend the money to have everything stocked. So there's a place where you can sign up, and we'll get it to you in a week or so uh, as we can order these and get them in. And if you want to buy additional ones, then you can do that as well. But we just want to get this rolled out and get it started. Be sure you look at the website uh, when you get home today or uh, online and see the re refresh there and just get a feel for how it looks to be part of Washington Heights as we go forward from today. Thank you so much for your attention. God be with you as you go.